Cheers, vinyl community. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Really appreciate it. Just having my favorite drink, Jack Daniels and Coke. Of course, the uh, chairman of the board used to drink this stuff and uh, kind of got it from him. Uh, so cheers. Hope everyone's out there having a good day. Thanks again for stopping in. I want to thank everyone for all the subscriptions, all the likes. Um, we're close to, um, uh, I think, 500,000 views right now, which is a, uh, a real tribute to everybody out there who could, uh, you know, not fall asleep while they're watching some of my videos. So I really appreciate that. And, um, you know, today's topic is just something I was, uh, you know, I'm always thinking of stuff to do on the channel. And I was listening to one of these albums the other day. So I'm going to talk about these 10 classic rock albums. And I thought, wow, this is only uh, one side has one track on it. It's completely captivating. It's mesmerizing. You know, you're, you're just sitting there totally immersed by this one track. And you, you go, you, you say to yourself, how do these young kids, because they're basically, you know, the records I'm listening to are 50 years old. 45, 50 years old, maybe even older. And when these groups and these artists um, recorded these records, they were young. They were probably mid-20s, I guess. And I'm always, uh, I'm not a musician. I can't read music. I just uh, love music, as you know. But I'm always um, fascinated that these these guys could come up with a couple of songs, let alone a song that is averages 20 minutes sometimes 22 minutes, 18 minutes for one song that continues to hold your interest. It's not just a quick pop three-minute tune or four-minute tune. It's a 20-minute tune that builds, goes down, has dynamics to it, has a story. Some of them have a storyline to them. Most of them have a storyline. Some of them are stories. I picked a few that are from different genres, uh, rock, some German music, some German kraut rock, you may call it, uh, classic rock, uh, pop rock. So I picked a, uh, you know, uh, prog rock. I picked a number of different genres for these uh, 10 classic rock albums. But like I said, when I listened to this one album that had one side was one song, I was just sitting there. I didn't have to get up. I didn't have to change a 45 RPM, which is like eight minutes a side, 10 minutes a side. I could just go there, have your drink or have your beer, whatever you're doing, have your, your whatever, um, whatever relaxes you when you're listening to music. You don't have to think about it. And it's one continuous track. A lot of the Floyd records uh, blend into each other. Uh, I didn't pick any Floyd right now. I, I basically chose records that are, uh, for the most part, one whole song on, a, and a couple of them, a couple of these albums, one that's a double has two uh, one track songs on them that are real jams. So uh, keep rocking. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps us out. But this is about uh, tracks that are totally immersive. When you get these, you're, you know, you may. The first couple of minutes, you're building up to it. You're relaxed. You're building. And then all of a sudden, you're involved with this 20-minute uh, journey. So I'm just going to point these out to you. You may not even know you have these in your collection. Like I said, I basically went back and thought about them off the top of my head. But I try to get a, you know, a, 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 a painted picture of different uh, types of music. Uh, and you'll see when I talk about them. First one up, and these are done. I'm putting these in order alphabetically as, as the groups. So the first one up is this classic, which we talked about uh, not too long ago. We did a review, Almond Brothers Live at the Fillmore East. This is a double live record on Capricorn. And this record has uh, two tracks, two out, two sides that are one track. Of course, the classic Whipping Post, which is just a complete journey into another another planet it's they they actually jam on this record as if they were a jazz rock fusion band and it's interesting that 
I read something. I don't know if it was uh, some some of the artists from Weather Report. They said they got the idea of rock fusion from listening to the Allman Brothers. Because if you think about it, the Allman Brothers are they're they're counter countering each other as if they were jazz musicians. They just, they just play off each other's vibe. Uh, two drummers, uh, two lead guitar players. Uh, they just jam. They're basically jamming as if they were jazz musicians. And I forgot which musician in a weather report indicated to in an article I read that they got the idea to do rock fusion from listening to the Allman Brothers. So you have whipping posts one side, and then you have this track, which is You Don't Love Me by Willie Cobbs. So uh, two totally mesmerizing, hypnotic uh, records, one side, one track. Next up is, of course, most people know, most people have, Bob Dylan, Blonde on Blonde, classic. Just a fabulous record. This is not the one with the um, Cardinale in her. I have that in my office. This is a uh, second pressing or, you know, first pressing, but without the, without the Cardinale. And this has, of course, the one track on it, if I could find it here, Sad-Eyed Lady of the Lowlands. Let me see. Yeah, this is a uh, Columbia repress, Sad-Eyed Lady of the Lowlands, right there. And I was amazed at this record that he, that, someone could write this this story and put it to music and that he could remember this story when he's doing it live. I, mean, I have it on some live LPs, I believe. And so that's uh, Dylan, Blonde on Blonde, a one-track classic that's totally immersive if, you, if you're getting into it. Cheers again. These are... These are deep, not hypnotic, hypnotic cuts. Hypnotic cuts. They just, just bring you into it. They pull you in. This is definitely prog rock. Brain salad surgery, and on one side, this is the original cover with the uh, die cut, the Geiger cover, and that opens up. But this has on on side on. It's a single album on album side B or side two. You have a Carnival Nine. Here's the inner. So Carnival Nine is into uh, it's into different impressions. One, two, three, and four, I believe. But it's still one track. And that record, I just listened to that the other day. It's mind blowing. It's these young kids. They were 20, 25 years old at the most. When you look at their photos on here. Uh, it's just amazing because I met, I was able to meet meet Emerson at a convention, and at that point, before he passed away, very for, uh, not too long ago, but but too young, he he looked like you know our age, my age, but when you look at these photos from the seventies, they're like young kids. So totally hypnotic, uh, Carnival Nine. The next one, of course, everyone knows it's one song, one track. It's classic. Alex's Restaurant. I believe the track is 22 minutes. I believe it's 18 minutes and 20 seconds, I believe. Classic, classic, classic. I play this every Thanksgiving. It's just amazing. And here's another one where this is a story, and this is country rock folk or whatever, but this is a story. It's a it's a mesmerizing story. It's actually made into a film. Um, and to see him do this live and remember the words without a teleprompter, I, it's, um, you know, I could barely remember what I'm going to uh, talk about here. Here's another great one, Rocker, that one of my favorite live albums of all time. Humble Pie, Rock of the Fillmore. This is a double album. I've had this since high school. You can see the die cut. And on here we have, uh, I believe there's two sides that are one that are one song. Uh, let me see what we have here. 
Rolling Stone, Chester Burnett. You all know Chester Burnett, Rolling Stone. And Walk on Gilded Splinters, which was a Dr. John. I think it's the Dr. John wrote that. That's 24 minutes. Rolling Stone, Chester Burnett. That is 16 minutes and 10 seconds. So out of a double album, two of the tracks are on one, one side each. So just incredible, incredible. Humble Pie. Next one up, everyone knows it's one track. Everyone may have not ever listened to it because you're used to listening to an edited single version. But I urge you, uh, play this record, play the one track. You probably have it. They're not that expensive if you don't have it. Uh, go buy it. Inagata DeVita. Inagata DeVita, self-titled Iron Butterfly. Inagata DeVita tracks it at 1705. But Inagata DeVita is just not the Inagata DeVita, Inagata DeVita, that chant that we all know. But when you listen to this record, they're jamming. They build it to a, to a peak. They bring it back down. The sonics are incredible. It's so much more than just Inagata DeVita. Um, the 45, the jukebox 45, is a little bit of a drone because it's cut down to maybe three minutes. But this is a 17-minute song. And you have to play it in its full entirety. I'll tell you a quick story. A friend of a friend of ours was over a few years ago, and he was a great. Uh, he was a Vietnam vet. He actually was a captain. My good friend out there, Rich, if you're ever watching this, um, tribute this to you. I said, "What do you want to hear?" I was showing off my stereo. It was a different system than what I had now. Rich is a Rich is a brother-in-law of a, of a really close friend. And he, he goes, oh, you got, in a, you got an Iron Butterfly. He goes, we used to, we used to listen to Iron Butterfly over in Nam. You know, he was a captain, but he used to hang with the guys. And we used to listen to this in Nam. So I put it on, and he was completely mesmerized. And I was completely mesmerized because I think it had to be 20 years since I played the entire track. Here's the inner, the Atco inner. And this is a really clean copy. As you can see there, right there. This is a really clean copy. And he was just so happy. I was so happy that I could turn him on to this on a good system. He probably heard it on Reel to Reel back in Nam. They used to have, they used to buy Reel to Reels. And then they said he still has his Reel to Reel that he mailed back from Asia. Uh, from overseas that he bought when he was in the service. So, um, but this record's just mesmerizing. It's totally immersive. Next one up is totally immersive too, a passion play. I have a couple of tell. This is the first tell. A passion play takes up both sides. It's one track. And this one is a, a nice one. This has a libretto in it from the original play that was in London, I believe. Uh, this, I believe this is the Linwell Theater. I assume it's England. It's probably here somewhere. But if you ever find this record and you have this booklet, that's a keeper just for that alone. This is a pretty common record, just completely immersive, completely hypnotic, uh, just the deep. You're completely absorbed by these, by these musicians. And again, Aqualung, the next record I'm going to pick up, Passion Play. These were young kids. Even Yes has a – I didn't put any Yes in this package but because uh, I had Prague here. Uh, but Yes has um, many albums where it's one side, one side, one track per side. Just, just incredible. Cheers. So we're getting close to the end. I believe it's maybe eight or so. But this one – Thick as a brick, right there. One side, thick as a brick. The title. This has the newspaper uh, version of it. It's the crazy stuff that they did. I don't know if you ever seen this one. It has like a newspaper story, full full size. These were 
These were expensive to uh, to make, to ship. They took extra weight. Just imagine uh, doing this today with all these pages in here. But thick as a brick, totally hypnotic. What I actually one of my favorite tall records is thick as a brick. It's up there with Aqualung, up there with uh, songs from the woods, stuff you know, stuff of that of that nature. Uh, next one up is a great one. Craftwork, Autobahn. And this is the record I played uh, a couple weeks ago. I just felt like listening to Autobahn. I don't know why. And uh, I said, wow, it's one track, one side, one track. What other records are completely one track? And I knew a couple off the top of my head. There's many, um, you know, the Dylans and, and, and things like that. But just a great record. These are... Uh, Mercury, this is a, uh, an American pressing. I had this since high school. That's the Autobahn. And you can see them there. They're in the rearview mirror. The boys in the band. I guess this is considered kraut rock or prog. I'm not sure. I don't know if you could say kraut rock, but I've heard it. I don't use that term. Uh, last one up is a classic. Prague, just uh, mesmerizing nectar. Remember the future. Remember the future has different elements in it, but it's part one, part two, and they're each about 16 and 18 minutes long. And, uh, this is just a great record. If you don't have this, pick this up. This is on Passport. One track, each side. Remember the future. So there it is, just a few records, 10 to be exact, that are really, again, I'm using the term immersive. You get into these records, you're going to be amazed at how they could build on one concept, basically. It's one concept. Um, you know, like the Beatles put in some of their albums or some of their, uh, you know, concept records, they put two or three songs together. They mel melded them together. That's what these are. These are probably a few songs that were incorporated into each other. You know, of course, you have uh, Alice's Restaurant, Sad Eyed Ladies, things like that. Those are complete stories. But a lot of these, Carnival 9, a few tracks, but melded into one track. In the God to be is probably the same way. But just jamming, um, it's, it's just a, a fusion of everything. It's just incredible stuff. And they all, and all these records, I'm not going into who produced them or who engineered them or anything like that, but they're just uh, fabulous. Uh, these are OGs. They're all fabulous. And I, and I don't believe uh, they're expensive. Uh, craft work may be hard to find, um, but the Emerson Lake and Palmer, the Dylan, they're out there. They're common. Not common, common. They're hard to come by in good condition. But these records, you put these on, you get yourself a drink, a cocktail, turn the lights down, just relax, and you're going into you're taking a trip without leaving your living room. So uh, thanks again for subbing. Uh, thanks again for all the likes and all the uh, uh, contributions as far as um, comments and things. And let me know. Again, I keep on forgetting, but you're out there. Let me know. Um, what records you know that are one tracks that you love and uh, we'll keep it going. So keep rocking. Thanks again. And uh, we'll see you la later on. Have a good day. Cheers. We are turning off the computer.